Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to do these beautiful curls. Just kidding. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how I curl my hair with the L'Oreal Steam Pod. It's my all-time favorite straightener that also curls your hair. I'm gonna show you how it works, how you curl your hair with it, and what you can expect, as well as some tips which I'm gonna add in throughout the whole tutorial. I love this straightener. It does an amazing job at just like beautiful, smooth hair. If you're thinking about buying the L'Oreal Steam Pod, I highly recommend it. FYI, this video is not sponsored, even though I wish it was, but I really just love it. Spent my own money on it. It was 300 and something dollars Canadian, which was a lot for a straightener. And uh, do I think it's worth it? Yes, I do. If you want to know my overall thoughts and tips and tricks, you can watch my video, which I'm going to link in the description box below. Also, I'm going to link my video on watching me straighten my hair with this straightener, which by the way, it does an amazing job at giving me super sleek hair. You're going to see in one second how frizzy my hair naturally is, so you'll understand why this is a miracle worker. Okay, on to the tutorial and I hope you like it. So we're just about to get started with my all-time favorite straightener slash curler. And um, before you do that, so I'm just going to show you quickly, you pop this out, fill it up with water by lifting whoop, up this lid. So I'm just gonna place this back down on my counter and I'm going to turn on my steam pod on button right here. You guys, in case you don't know how to turn on a straightener that shows the on button right there. While we wait for that to turn on, I'm just gonna take down my hair. Excuse the noise if you can hear construction outside. I live in a condo and I have no control over that. My lion's mane, that's basically what this is. My real true hair. I'm just quickly gonna brush that out. I'm gonna clip up my hair. You can tell it's working because steam is coming up. Hope you can see that. And basically just to quickly show you, the steam is coming from these holes, which means that the straightener always needs to be going downwards with the seam on the bottom. So I'm looking down into a little mirror right here. Um, and I usually work off of a big mirror, so bear with me if I shuttle a little bit. So basically I'm just taking my first section of hair. I'm gonna clamp it together until I see steam and I feel steam coming through. You don't have to do this if you have fine hair, but for my hair, this is what I need because when the steam's kind of spewing is when it's gonna do the best job. And basically starting from the top, I'm clamping it down. I'm actually going straight down for a little bit and then I'm twisting and keeping it in that downward direction. So basically you always need to make sure that this steam side is down. You never want it to end up here. And so that's what you really need to be mindful of the whole time you're curling your hair. And in the beginning, you can support with this hand touching the straightener. But what gets tricky is that as this gets hot, you actually need to do the full twist from this end. So it's kind of a full twist that you need to do all holding and clamping down on this end. Now, how does that differ from a normal straightener? This is a little heavier. So it makes it a little bit harder. And also with a normal straightener, you can almost always clamp down from the edge. This one, not so much. So you need to get used to like that curling motion and then going down. And again, you wanna make sure that you're doing the twist really fast. So on this side, I'm gonna curl in the opposite direction. I'm gonna start with this. You don't want a big chunk of hair. Like I can't, my hair is just frizzy. This isn't actually a lot of hair right here. And that's about the section that you want. It's just that it's frizzy right now. So I'm just gonna start. So now I'm going in the opposite direction, going straight down for a bit, and then again, twisting the whole way. And as you can see there, I had to kind of rotate it on the end of the straightener without any support from the edge. I'm gonna take it, go straight down initially, and then quickly both hands on one side and twist down. So a few quick tips I can tell you. One, there's a little comb in here that you can take out. You're gonna wanna keep that in for sure 100%. Doesn't do nearly as good of a job if that comb isn't in there because it kind of separates the hair and makes sure that every piece is getting that steam. Another thing is if you want smaller, tighter curls, you're gonna wanna twist with the hair on this end and not so much in this end, because this end is much thicker. You're gonna get a thicker, wider wave and curl here versus a really small, 
one down here. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like for the smaller curl down here, but I don't usually curl my hair that way because I like the big natural curl. Um, if I had shorter hair, I might opt for the smaller curl, but that's just not the way I roll. So just going down, and I, you just basically roll it down, see how it's twisting down here? That is what I mean by that. And it's kind of a smaller curl as opposed to what I like to do normally, which is I twist it up in here more so. And it gives kind of a more voluminous, big wave. My hairs that are baby, just gonna quickly give them a little bit of a twirl. And that is the first section. So I'm basically now just gonna keep doing that across all my hair, gives me really beautiful waves, and they're so soft. <laughs> like since the first time I used it, I felt like it made my hair seem like white girl hair. Anyone, if you're like me and you have normally coarse frizzy hair, you're gonna understand exactly what that means. Um, but it's usually just not so soft and smooth and it stays that way as well, and that's what I just love. There's other benefits, guys. You're gonna wanna see um, my other video that just gives an overview of straightening and an overview of just my general opinion of it, which I've linked in the description box below. So another thing with this is like the cord does get really twisted and you'll need to untwist that otherwise movement is becomes less fluid while you're doing it and it becomes kind of annoying so you just kind of twist and it'll undo itself. The reason I wait a little bit before curling and I kind of go down straight for a while is because I've noticed in my long hair it doesn't really if I start twisting right away, it doesn't actually curl that high up, um, but all it really does is make it a little pinch frizzy um, at a spot that I don't want it to be frizzy. So like right now, I can't support the end with my finger because it is actually too hot and it hasn't been that long, but just like this part in here, I can't support it. So you really need to learn to just do that movement um, all at the base of the strainer. Look at that, Isn't, aren't these just like the nicest, prettiest curls? But in addition, like what really makes the biggest difference to me is just how it feels. Like it just feels so amazing. So I find for me, it's easiest not curling this way, but instead taking it above my head and starting this way, pointing down. It's a little bit cumbersome initially to learn how to use this, but it just works so well. It's worth the learning curve. And after a while, you won't even notice that it's any different than what you're used to. As amazing of a job it does at curling, which by the way, I curl my hair with this the majority of the time I rarely straighten my hair um, but even though I think it does an amazing job curling your hair I think it does the best job with straightening it like I'll insert some photos now I just simply love it so one thing I don't know if you can see so right here, see how there's some frizz? I hope you can see that. Like right in here, there's a bit of frizz just from the twisting motion. Like I mentioned, it kind of frizzes a tad bit right in that section, for me at least. So what I basically do there is I'll just go over that one section in a downward motion, and it basically kills all the frizz. And it's okay, because that section wasn't really curled anyway. It was just where the curl was beginning. And a bit of the same thing right in this piece here. So again, I'm just gonna go over it, kind of straighten and flip at the end, and boom, it's perfectly smooth. My last section, I split into two. Guys, something devastating has started happening to me. So I'm 27, I'm turning 28 this year, which is sad, boo-hoo. And, um, 
I am starting to get gray hairs. Is that happening to any of you guys? Are you guys feeling sad about that? Like, especially in my black hair, I can totally see the gray hairs and that is what's devastating. And I spend time pulling out those gray hairs because I have to, like I can't live with seeing gray hairs peek through because it just upsets me too much. And it probably, I actually remember when I got my first ever gray hair, I was in, I was on a trip with my sister. We were in Saint Martin, which by the way, I'm going to Saint Martin in two months. I've heard that they've like just recovered enough from the hurricane. And so my husband and I were going there on a little trip and I'm super excited. Anyway, I was in Saint Martin with my sister. I got one braid put in, like one wrap braid. Um, like at the bottom, actually it was on this side. It was like right in here and it was colorful. And as the girl was putting it in, uh, my sister was like, yo, I see a gray hair. And it was like this long. And she pulled it out. And since then, every gray hair I've ever found, I've pulled out. <laughs> I, I hope that myth is not true. You know that myth that's like, um, I'm gonna paraphrase it, but it's like, for every gray hair you pull out, three or something grow back in its place. I hope that's not true. But now, every once in a while, I swear, like every single week, I'll go through my hair and like try and pull out any and all hairs that I find on my mission. If any of you do that, make me feel better by telling me because I swear it's so bothersome. And then at the same time, I feel like people who have like blonde hair are so lucky because you would not see them really. Like they wouldn't be super obvious as they are in mine. So, but listen, there are, you know what? This is a first world problem. Getting a few hairs that are gray here and there is not a major life problem. I know that, but still bothers me. My sister and I, a different sister this time, we'd always talk about like, see how knotted this is right now? I need to unwind it. Um, we would always talk about at what point we would just dye our hair. Cause that, that day is gonna hum. I've never actually dyed my hair ever, ever, ever. But I think I'm saving it for like, if and when I grow gray. I'm not gonna gracefully grow gray, I don't think. I have one friend, she's actually my oldest friend from when I was a kid. And she says, I always remember her saying that when she's older, she just wants to go full gray and just rock it, just rock full gray. And she said that to me before gray was like a big trend. Is it still a trend? I don't know. So this is how the steam pod curls hair. And it's so beautiful. I don't even really need to brush them out, but if you wanna see what they look like brushed out, I'll show you. Although they're already soft, they look even more soft. You could hit it with some hairspray. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then give me a shout down below. Let me know your thoughts. Follow me on the social networks and check out my other videos on the Steam Pod and on DIY, house, beauty, home. Yeah, all that stuff. Okay, until next time, bye.